and welcome to a tutorial explaining coefficient of friction in Mechanics 2 of the MEI course. Now, as you've already hopefully done the M1, I shan't bother explaining friction from scratch. So let's take an example of a box on a flat plane. So in M1, you would be told that there's a frictional force going, say, for example, it's being pulled that way with a force of 40 newtons. They would tell you out of the blue that it's 10 newtons friction. But what we're going to do is derive that from scratch. So we'll say that this block weighs 5 kilograms. Now there's a new symbol involved here called mu, which looks like that, and this is the friction coefficient. Now you won't need to worry about where it comes from, all the results are exper um, derived experimentally, there's no mathematical way of working out a coefficient of two objects. Um, but this this represents the friction between the two surfaces. So what we do here is we work out the gravitational force, which is 5g, and then we know, because the block is not falling through the floor, that the reaction force of that must also be 5g. Now, we'll say that this is an arbitrary 0 0.5, it's always greater than 0, because otherwise the friction would be helping the object move, but it ca um, well, frictional resistance, FR, is equal to mu friction reaction. So in this case, FR is equal to 0 0.5 times 5g. And that will give you your result for your frictional resistance. This is just a basic introduction. The MEI questions are harder as you'll have to work backwards to find mu or similar concepts, but that's the core idea of coefficient of friction. Thank you.